Okay, hey guys, so this is something new that I'm doing for the beginner track guide series and what I'm doing is instead of going through an advanced look through the lap, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go through a slow lap and sort of just talk about what I do so you can actually see me and actually see what I do pretty much in real time and then I'll show you the hot lap that I have put in the title of this video. So if you like this sort of style of me explaining how I go through the track, make sure to hit the like button and stick around by subscribing to the channel because I'm definitely gonna be doing this. I feel this is a lot better for you guys to sort of learn how the track flows. So I'm at the, I'm at the start basically of Monaco when you're on time trial and this is basically the start of your lap, not necessarily the start finish line. So as you can see, we're coming up to the final corner and Usually what I'll do is once I pass this orange barrier here, I will go into second gear and then I'll start turning. That's my cue to start turning in towards this little barrier here. I get the best line through, clip that apex a little bit, open up DRS and then you want to power through. Pass the start finish line and then you should be in seventh gear if you're on f1 2019 i like to be in sixth gear at this point but on this game f1 2020 i like to be in seventh gear and then as soon as i pass that monaco grand prix sign at the top there that's when i start breaking i break down into fifth and then one last downshift into fourth however if you do need to car if you do need to car to get a little bit of that rotation and you probably will need to go into third but as i said in seventh gear as soon as i pass that sign Break in a full straight line. You want to break in a full straight line to get the most out of the brakes. Into fifth, and then as I'm about to hit the apex, down into fourth, and then try and get the power down as soon as possible so that you don't lose time throughout this straight. And then coming up to here now, as soon as I pass this zebra crossing right here, or the white barrier on the left, that's when I start braking. I should be in about sixth or seventh gear at this point. And then I break, break in a straight line a little bit and then I start turning because this corner is a little bit tighter than you would think. Then you want to try and hug the left hand side, hug the left hand side. And as soon as you come up to these sort of uh, banners here, as soon as you come up to the red one, that's when you want to start turning the car right into here. You don't obviously want to hit there, but you want to get as close to the barrier as possible. Then you want to put the power down, but not fully or else you will get a little bit of uh, oversteer as you go over the bump the car unsettles and then once you feel as if the car has got enough grip that's when you want to plant, plant your foot down and then as soon as I pass this white barrier here on the on the fencing that's when I start braking you should be in fifth gear by this point start braking start braking and then you want to shift down to second and if you need to if you need to get the car rotated a little bit more you can go down to first but ideally you want to be in second you want to be in second here Hug this, get the best line through, and then pretty much as soon as you get full throttle, that's when you want to start braking. Break in a complete straight line because you actually want to break sooner than you think. And then start to turn. You want to be in first gear. Ideally, you want to hug this barrier. Not enough to invalidate, but obviously enough to get the best line through and help the car get rotated. Then you want, uh, then you want to get the power down as soon as possible. Turn in second gear ride this little uh curb there and then as soon as you pass this bridge that's when you sort of lift off the throttle and also start turning in hug this corner as much as possible because that's going to give you the best line out and this is obviously the longest like little straight here on monaco you really don't want to lose time here and then come up to here Pretty much as soon as I pass the 100 meter board, uh, pretty much where this little like lamp pole is, I'll probably zoom into it post editing. But on the right hand side, you'll see the little lamp post there with some of the greenery. That's when I start braking. Break down, break down. Ideally, you want to break in a straight line again just to get the most out of the brakes. By this point now, I want to be in second gear when I'm passing this orange barrier. And then quickly shift down to first and also cut this corner a little bit not too much so you can validate your lap but just so you can gain the most time and get the best line through that corner and then you're coming out through here coming out through here going into sector three now i like to break a little bit and then throw the car in uh, at the 50 meter board uh, you should be in sixth and then you just throw it in at fifth gear and then once you're in fifth gear obviously you want to Split this apex, get the best line through, then you want to stay out wide so you can get the power down as well as get yourself into a good line for this corner. Click this apex, straight on, click this apex, and then pretty much, I don't have 
an exact breaking point for this one but if you look on the left hand side again i'll probably zoom it in uh post edit you will see a lamp post on the outside of the track close to where the crowd is that's what i would, that's that's the best place i always use as a reference point uh, other than that it's really just one of those ones where you have to memorize where the braking zone is uh, so as soon as you pass that start braking you should be in sixth gear at this point and then break down into fourth hold it in fourth hit the clip here and then you want to swoop back cut this corner a little bit not too much so you invalidate the lap and keep the car straight and then just as you're about to hit this guy here uh, let me reverse the car so you can see him a little better so just as you're about to pass these two guys here that's where you start braking i know it's a really weird braking point but again similar to the uh, second chicane I don't really have an exact breaking point here. It's more about just rem remembering where to break, to be honest with you. Uh, you should be in fourth gear. You should have held fourth gear from the previous corner. Then shift down into second gear. Uh, I shifted down into neutral there. Shift down into second gear or first gear if you need to get the car rotated. Get the power down a little bit. And then once again, when you get to here, as soon as you pass that orange barrier, that's when you start turning into the bar into this uh, inside barrier here. Open up DRS and then there you go. That is a lap. Of Monaco. So right about now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the actual lap that I did that I've got in the title and then we'll talk about the setup. Hey guys, so we're here at the setup now and I'm going to make the setup portion of this video from now on a little bit quicker because obviously we want to more focus on the strategies and the actual uh, track guide so you can actually see how to get around the track. So for the setup we're going 10-11 and then for the transmission we're going 55-65. Uh, I know it's different to the default of 50-65 for me but I like the 55-65, it works for me around here. And then for the geometry, I use minus 2.8, minus 1.3. You can probably change it to maybe minus 1.20 or something like that. But I keep it at this. And then 0 0.06 and 0 0.26. And then for the suspension, I go 2.5, 6.8, and 2.4. Again, as I've said in every episode of this beginner's track guide, I always build the car for stability. And then for the brake pressures, it's 95% and 55 front brake bias, mainly because a lot of the braking that you are going to be doing is straight line braking. So I use, I have it higher than I would usually at 52. Um, and as I said before, I am going to be starting to play around with the actual brake pressures and front brake biases so that I can build setups that are more focused on the race for you guys. And then the tires, 23 PSI on the front right. 22.2 on the front left, uh, on the front left, sorry. Uh, rear right is 21.5 and then the rear left is 21.1. So that's the setup there. I hope that you guys enjoyed this new style of my beginner's track guide. If you did, then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because I want to be posting all of my track guides like this from now on to give you guys the best uh, sort of information about each track. So I'll see you guys in the next track guide.